I don't think I can commit. I can just give one off. Well, um, thank you so sorry. much for wanting to help. Yeah. A few people said they want to give a one off, like a hundred, hundred fifty pounds, stuff oh, no, like that, I can't which do is that. good. So sorry, sorry. We're it's not looking for four, five, or ten years. Mm. We'd appreciate if you could try and help us out for just one year. So ten pound a month, just the one year, please. Can you try to help us with that? Complaints about door-to-door -door fundraisers have doubled to more than 4,000 in the last 12 months. The fundraising regulator said there were several potential causes for this, including poor behaviour from fundraisers, particularly from third parties and subcontractors. I went undercover at a third-party fundraising firm called IBA Global, which was signing up donors for Great Ormond Street Hospital Children's Charity. I wanted to find out what fundraisers were being taught and how they were acting on doorsteps. In my second week of training, a fundraiser talked to new recruits about what not to say when trying to sign up donors. I'm going to ask a question that never give them an option. In sales, if you say, never, never use this words if you can. It doesn't need to be, just keep them yeah, on the Sorry to disturb. Okay, so, so there's been doors. Never say these. Um, Why not? If, if, if you can, you, I'll give you an option. So, and tell me you're busy. Much. Hi, how are you doing? You alright, sir? Yes. Yeah, good, thank you, but I'm a bit busy at the moment. But if you can give me 20 seconds, if you push it, call me up. However, I say, look, it's 20 seconds, I'm from Great Ormond Street, straight up to the conversation, they're going to listen to you. If they don't listen, they don't qualify as the right person, they're not going to sign up anyway. One senior member of staff revealed that while fundraising for the National Deaf Children's Society, he created the impression he was deaf to get people to answer the door to him. I remember, this is very cheeky, for the, well, I used to be National Deaf to the Society, okay? And then people in the weed or whatever, just... Can, they come on their door, very cool, like, I'm so sorry, I'm not deaf. No, by the way, I'm not deaf, I'm just... I'm mean, working on behalf of that. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm not bloody deaf. During another training session, the senior fundraiser told us how he regulates his emotions when going door to door and can make himself cry in front of potential customers. I, I control my, my brain towards my emotions. I am not takes time, but I can look at you here and I can make my, I'm crying. I'm sure you understand. You can see my face? I'm, I'm very into the problem, right? But I can switch. But the good news is, miss, what we're trying to do is we are performing. Look, I'm moving on. Because I care. And when you care, people do everything for you. Days later, he talked about the importance of getting people to agree to be contacted by Great Ormond Street Hospital Children's Charity after they sign up. Is that true or not? Yes. You got to say the right things, uh, Mister. Um, basically, they only uh, contact you once a year to let you know what your support has been done over the last twelve months. Is that all right? Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. I don't even wait for him to say yes or not. I will the answer for him. <laughs> Is that true or not? Yeah. Yeah. Mates, uh, they send emails. Um, to you, to let you know how important yeah, you're, co you're helping us every single month. Yeah, cool, right? Great. On my third day of going door to door, one woman had to turn a fundraiser down at least four times on her doorstep. Oh, hey there. Hi. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'll keep it quick. Just from Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital. Uh, this is my bodyguard. Yeah. I'm guessing you've heard of us before? Yes. Amazing. Is that from personal experience or just general knowledge? No, no, just general Awesome. Hopefully it stays that way. My colleague's new. He's going to quickly tell you why we're here. Um, we're obviously looking for a little help, extra help around Christmas time. Uh, Great Ormond Street sees around 750 children each day. <laughs> but what we've seen in the community is people giving as little as £2.50 um, each week. Uh, that's £10 a month. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I can commit. I can just give one off. Well, thank um, you so sorry. much for wanting to help. Yeah. It really does go a long way. Yeah. Like, I can't commit to every month, sorry. Given that the woman had clearly said she cannot commit to monthly payments, this should have been the end of the encounter. But the fundraiser kept trying to sign her up. Amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, um, well, I get what you mean. A few people said they want to give a one-off, like £100, £150, stuff oh, no, like that, I can't which do is that. good. So sorry. Sorry, it's well, just well, the current economic climate. Okay. I can, I can't even do that. It's, it, it, it's not even going to be 
it's just at the most ten hour or something I can give Amazing. now because it's not just Great Ormond Street. Yeah, we yeah. give to other charities Amazing. as well, and I and I'm sorry I can't stretch. That's sorry. Well, just to clarify, we're not looking for four, five, or ten years. Mm. We'd appreciate if you could try and help us out for just one year. Mm. Can you try and help us out for one year, please? And so what you're asking for, for one year, two pounds so fifty a month or something? So basically two pounds fifty a week, so ten pounds a month. A week. So ten pounds a month, just for one year please. Can you try to help us with that? I'll have a think. Can, can you leave me something? At the moment I'm we a little bit, I'm expecting some guests. That's so fine. Well, Great Ormond Street yeah. Hospital, you yeah, can find yeah, us yeah. online. Yeah. Good luck with the guests. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Bye now. Sorry. Thanks. Last year, the fundraising regulator opened an inquiry into the use of subcontractors for fundraising looking at whether charities and agencies were complying with the Code of Fundraising Practice. Its goal is to better understand how door-to-door -door and on-street fundraising subcontracts are arranged and monitored.